Thank you, Mr. Speaker. A well-timed riposte, if ever I, I, I saw one. The, the difference between, of course, the UK leaving the European Union and Scotland leaving the UK and joining the EU is that we're really clear about what we want and how to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, so within the, the trade and cooperation agreement, the UK and a changing Europe really did us all a favour by highlighting within the TCA the various deadlines that exist for further clarity for further sectors. And I would offer my support because Brexit has happened. I'm not interested in fighting old battles. I do want to get a result for all of us. The 31st of December this year sees the arrangements for financial services passport and come to an end. How is the progress going on making sure that vital industry for all of us has clarity going forward? Uh, Mr Speaker, we want to provide clarity for all uh, UK uh, industries and ensure that we have a good and close economic relationship as well as social uh, relationship with our uh, near neighbours and uh, good partners. Um, and the point I would make, reinforcing the point that I made to uh, the uh, other honourable gentleman from the SNP, uh, is that this pipe dream about the ease with which uh, 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 Scotland separated from the UK could join the EU, I think is one that requires a bit closer analysis, what Scotland would do for money, uh, what they would do for budget deficit to bring it in line with the membership criteria for the EU, I think would be very, very interesting. We will, of course, ensure that the UK financial services sector remains internationally competitive. Yeah.